Hi, this is Jerry. Welcome back to our tutorial. Today we're going to discuss relational operators. We have the following objectives. We're going to determine the different relational operators using Java. Uh, the Boolean data type as we use with relational operators. And we simulate values of variable line by line. Programming is all about decision. When we try to compare two items, we measure its relative value from each other, such as is it equal, less than, or greater than. The following table shows the relational operators we can use in Java programming. When we say greater than, okay, we have an example is x greater than y when we have x greater than y okay we are asking is x greater or equal to y okay so greater than or equal less than or equal okay when we're checking when we are checking uh equality we use the equal equal symbol okay is x equal to y so we use this form if it is not equal okay we check the we use the exclamation point then the equal symbol let us have a concrete example using this operator consider the piece of code on line 6, we declare x as integer. Line 7 assigns the initial value of 4 to x. Line 8 declares integer variable y and assign immediately value 10 as its initial value. This is the shortcut method as equivalent of what we have done at line 6 and 7. We, int we introduce now the use of Boolean data type on line 10, 11, and 12 for the given identifiers. Integer equal, integer less than, and integer greater than. Boolean data type should only have two possible values, that is true and false. We evaluate the expression on the right side after the equal sign for variables. This is done at uh, line 14 to 17. What do you think would be the value of integer less than on line 14? Correct. Since x is 4 and y is 10, x less than y becomes true. Value true is now assigned to integer less than. How about integer greater than at line 15? y with the value of 10 is greater than x with the value of 4. Therefore, value assigned to integer greater than is true. Because the two x and y have different values, integer equal will be set to false on line 16. Again, we update the value of integer less than at line 17 y is not less than or equal to x. Therefore, the new value of integer less than is set to false. On our output screen, line 19 displays false, line 20 displays true, and 21 outputs false. Let us run our program.
So this is our output.